Everyone, including me, talks about skincare routines all the time. But like your skin, your hair also needs a routine. Especially if you have dry, damaged hair from too many dye jobs or years of heat styling. I know the process of finding a perfect hair care routine that will work can seem a little daunting. But don't worry, in this video, I will share with you a perfect hair care routine that saved my damaged hair and will save yours too. Often ignored but you can't have healthy hair if you don't have a healthy scalp. So your first concern should be using products that can ensure a healthy clean scalp. One 2018 study found that a healthy scalp means healthy hair growth. So you can imagine how important that is. To keep your scalp healthy, you must exfoliate at least twice a week. Let me explain why. The glands you have on your scalp function like the glands on your face. They produce oil. This oil or sebum is necessary to maintain the health of your hair and scalp. But if this oil gets excess and builds upon the scalp, it will cause hair fall. And using only shampoo might not clean it all away. That's where a physical or chemical exfoliant comes in. By doing this, scrubs also help reduce potential irritation and dandruff caused by excess oil. You can either use a physical or chemical exfoliant on your scalp. For my hair, I always prefer a physical scrub. I'm currently using the African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Pre-Shampoo Scalp Scrub. It's pretty gentle but does what it is supposed to do. Besides using exfoliants, always use sunscreen on your scalp. You can use regular spray or powdered sunscreen on your scalp. Or there are sunscreens explicitly made for scalps like the Scalp and Hair Mist SPF 30 from Sunbalm. You can use that too. You have probably been washing and conditioning your hair for as long as you remember. But to repair the damaged hair, Choosing the right shampoo and conditioner is crucial. When shopping for shampoo, check the ingredient list thoroughly. You should always look for protein-rich formulas containing fortifying ingredients like carotin, biotin, and vitamin B5. This will strengthen brittle strands from root to tip. Since damaged hair is often dry, Look for a shampoo with hydrating ingredients such as coconut oil, jojoba oil, and olive oil. These ingredients are also great for boosting shine and softness as well. A good drugstore option can be Garnier Fructis Hydrating Treat Shampoo as it contains aloe vera. If you want to spend some extra bucks, you can try Karate's Nutrive Shampoo for severely dry hair. By the way, damaged hair types should shampoo a maximum of two times a week. After shampooing, follow it up with a good conditioner. My favorite drugstore one is OGX Coconut Oil Conditioner. It's incredibly hydrating. In the case of conditioners, Use a small amount and rinse your hair with cold water afterwards. Many people think because they are using conditioners, they can skip their hair treatments. If you have healthy hair, yes, you can. But for damaged hair, taking this extra step will help it return to its healthy state quickly. Using the right restorative hair treatments can actually heal and moisturize hair from the inside out. You can do the treatments at least once a week. For my hair, I use the hydrating hair mask from Argan Oil. Since I have started using it, my hair got far, far better. Besides that, I use Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask on my hair. This one is quite nourishing. Also, once a week, I do hot oil treatment. For that, I take two tablespoons of oil, microwave it for 30 seconds, and then apply it on my hair. After applying, I use a tool that works the same as a hot towel. You can buy that from Amazon. The non-affiliate link will be in the description. Or use a warm towel to cover your hair. By the way, just a reminder, you should always shampoo before using a treatment and condition your hair after applying a hair mask. In this way, your conditioner as well as the rinse that comes after will ensure that you remove any product residue that could weigh your hair down. Previously, I was doing all the right things to my hair. 
but just because I was not using a heat protectant, my hair was not getting back to a healthy phase. I try to air dry my hair as often as possible, but sometimes when I can't, I blow dry. Before blow drying or straightening my hair, I use a heat protectant now. Heat protectants cover your hair and seal in moisture. They also work to smooth the cuticle, making your hair look smooth and feel soft. So use one every time you plan to use a heat styling tool. There are heat protectant sprays or serums available in the market. I always prefer serums over sprays. Currently I am using resistance blow dry primer for damaged hair from kerastase. It has a lovely scent and works excellently. You can also use coconut oil or argan oil as a heat protectant. To use coconut oil, melt 1 teaspoon of coconut oil. Dilute it by adding 3 quarter cup of water. Pour the mixture into a spray bottle and shake well before each use. It's always best to apply this formula to wet hair from mid shaft to ends away from the scalp. When you suffer from damaged hair, locking the moisture with a light oil can help your hair from further damage. One of the main benefits of using this is protection against pollution or humid or dry air. Usually serums or light oil should be applied to fresh washed hair. This way it adds a layer of protection to your hair. But you can use it on dry hair too. Not ideal I know but I have noticed that sometimes it gets frizzy when I don't wash my hair. If I use 2 or 3 drops of argan oil on my dry hair that day, my hair gets back to its shiny state again. As I mentioned, I use argan oil and I use that right after blow drying or straightening my hair. You can use jojoba oil too. But always apply it far from your scalp towards the end of your hair. Use hair serums or light oils every time you blow dry or straight. You can also use it when you feel like your dry hair lacks moisture and needs nourishment. So the routine looks like this. Exfoliation twice a week, shampoo with conditioner twice a week, hair treatments once a week preferably on weekends, and heat protectants or serums or oils every time you wash your hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please don't forget forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my socials, the handles are given right here. My name is Salmin and I'll catch you on my next one. Until then, ciao!